up in St. John's, Newfoundland. Turning it up ice, here comes Dalton Smith now for Springfield. Shooting in a pad save, rebound, Moon scores! Nathan Moon with a quick job there, quick shot on the rebound. He deposits and the Falcons lead at 1-0, scoring for the first time in five games. Falcons goal scorers. Ryan Craig now sitting seventh all time, has 56 goals, one behind Eric Healy's 57. Point shot, goal, and the Bruins tie it up. It's a 1-1 deadlock. That one sailed over the left shoulder of Dayton, and we're all even Steven here in Springfield. 2.15 remaining, opening period. Picked up and it's taken back though by Camper. He floats it ahead on the left wing and Sove has a lane, driving the net, shooting, and a shoulder save made by Dayton. Super stop there by Paul Dayton of the Falcons, making the save on Maxime Sove. Trotman pressured now by Odie Marcheseau. And the puck up the left wing, Sauvé on the move. A two-on-one break with Hirschfeld. Sauvé to the trailer, shot, and Cunningham denied by Dayton. Back up ice comes the forward, Chapu. Trent Vogelhuber, half wall, far side, down deep. Wraparound attempt, trying to jam it in is Craig. And a save by Svedberg on a quick wraparound there by the captain, Ryan Craig. 105 left in the man advantage. Weaving through center, Nick Drazenovich, left wing feed, in across Odie Marcheseau. Shooting, and a glove save by Svedberg as he yanked the puck out of midair there on a left circle shot from Jonathan Odie Marcheseau. Big weapon, not in the lineup, leading Providence with 26 goals overall. 12 with the man advantage. Krug, pass across ice, low right circle shot, score! It squeaked through Dayton. Ryan Spooner with the tally, and it's 2-1 for Providence. Spooner with his 11th tally of the year. Now it's Mahacek to Drazenovich, centering pass, and up top it's played now by Helmer. Helmer spinning the puck, getting it down low along the wall. Helmer gets it back again at the right point. Played by Russell in front, shot, Drazenovich, scores! Nick Drazenovich ties it up, 17 on the year for Drazenovich. It's a 2-2 tie. Trying to spring the forward Drazenovich, but the Bruins get the puck back again. In across the blue line, Spooner playing it down low. 2-2 the score, chipped out by Spooner in front. McKinnon scores on the doorstep. Kyle McKinnon makes it 3-2 for the Bruins. 6.48 remaining third period. Up to the left point. Holden was there, now it's played on the right wing side by Camper, darting in across the blue line, driving the net. Pad save made by Dayton. Rebound on the backhand, Cunningham there, rebound, and Sove scores, and it's 4-2 for Providence. 3.24 remaining third period, and Maxime Sove has the tally. And it's Krug, hard off the near glass. Chipped ahead by McKinnon up the left wing side. Chance at the empty net. McKinnon scores. And it's 5-2 Providence. That's the nail in the coffin. A minute 25 remaining in the third. Providence with four goals in the third period. I don't know if they took control. I liked, uh, I loved how we played the first two. Uh, very controlled game and then in the third it just you know, I just looked at the goals. They're just, just poor, poor execution by us in our, in our coverage. That's all it was. I mean, it wasn't, wasn't anything we've been doing differently all game. It was yeah. Just a matter of uh, a couple of bouncing pucks, kind of found them, and you know, we weren't tight enough in our coverage. End yeah. up internet. But up till then, it was a pretty good, evenly matched yep. game. Yeah, it was like a playoff game. It was tight. It was yeah. really tight, and I expect these games to be like this all the way down the stretch. And these guys are aware of it, and we're gonna have to find a way to get ourselves out of this. Yeah, what's it gonna take? A lot of what we did in the first two periods, just stay, sticking with the game plan and pushing ourselves through it. I mean, there's there's no magic formula. It's going to be through hard work. It's going to take every all four lines and all 60 and good goaltending. It's, it's, A couple uh, of hard working goals by you. Yeah, the guys are. Tonight's game was way better. Like we were way better than we were last night. Like, last night I hated us. I really did hate us. Our, our first two periods were awful, and then the third we started to compete. So, I thought these guys responded really well. I loved yeah, our, our first two. Up, yeah. Yep, we had energy. I thought. Uh, we limited their chances. I mean, it was it was it was a good 
good tempo, good control game for us. And then, uh, you know what? We just didn't. We made some mistakes. And we ended up earning it. That's what happens. From this, uh, from this home and home, what are some of the positives that you took away playing a tough team like this, two division leaders looking forward to the playoffs? Well, I, it's not a, I wouldn't say there's a whole whack of positives. I mean, we, we only got one point out of four, but, um, you know, I like this for two periods out of this game. And, you know, that's going to have to be the more consistent game out of us for, for three full, you know, and just a couple of breakdowns. And, and, the, and the goals are easily correctable. I mean, it, it's just a matter of just being a little bit tighter, that's all. You're not using calls as an excuse. Oh, no, no, no. The guys are, we, we shoot, we had no, no players in there right from the start or from the NHL lockout. So, no, we got plenty in the lineup to, to get the job done. We're just, uh, you know, when you're, when your confidence goes a little bit, you, that's when you're not scoring goals. So, you know, we're, we're having trouble scoring, and, um, you know, it's going to take all four lines to try and chip in and win these tape. So once it gets started, probably mushroom a little bit and get a little continuous. Yeah, well, that's what you hope for. Yep. You know, I think uh, these guys have put a lot of hard work in this year and, and, and know what it takes to win. Yep. Um, and we all know how these games are going to be down the stretch. Every team that's below us is hungry because they're trying to fight for a playoff spot and, and everybody's jockeying for position the urgency goes up with every team so like we said if our urgency doesn't go up then we're falling behind and that's what it's going to take it's going to take our team to just give a little bit more and again for two periods i really like this the shots on goal were fairly even throughout the night do you think that the uh, scoring opportunities were even both ways as well oh yeah i don't we didn't give up much i think we limited very well uh, third they got a few extra but uh, as far as like chances against, like, the, the game before, we gave up 14 chances off the rough. Tonight, they maybe had a third of that or, or less. So there's some good signs there. That's a positive. But it's just a matter of uh, the details in our zone. we got to be a little bit tighter on those pucks. And again, closing plays out, making sure we're, we're stronger in pucks and get them out of our zone.